Hey guys, it's Roxy. Um, doing a little bit of an unpackaging because a package that I have been waiting for for forever from Zippo um, finally came in. I sent my Zippos, my Zippo products in. I got delivery confirmation October 18th that they got it. And today is, um, it is December 30th. So I'm going to do, a, I'm just unboxing it right now. I'll do a follow-up video later. Um, saying what happened, etc. Um, and I'll just take them together. Let's see. So it doesn't have my information. Okay, it says, uh, please find and close your pouches in new lighter. I did replace the lighter for you. Please be aware that the pouches may mark the lighter from the snap. You may want to take extra care of your lighter. I apologize for the delay. Our quality department check. I had to have our quality department check the pouches. And then the person I was working with, Susan Phelan, signed it. So, all right. Sorry about the color around. All right. So, let's see. This is the. Uh, I can't tell if this is the same pouch or not. There's a new sticker on the back. So, yep, these are the same pouches because you can. There's a little bit of black where the electrical tape was. And let's see. Okay, so, new lighter with a whole bunch of crap on it. Hopefully that'll wipe off. Yep, it's wiping off, so it's fine. It's a little smudge, but... There is no sticker on the back, though. Which is surprising. Okay, guys, I have to go. I'll film a video later, attached it to the end of this one, showing you the rest of it. Hey, guys, it's Roxy. Uh, last night... I didn't get a chance to do my follow-up video for the package I got from Zippo. So, I'm doing it right now. So, what had happened is, I made a video on this, it's called Zippo Pouch Rant. But, uh, if you don't feel like going back and watching that video, I'll just give you a quick overview of what happened. Basically, I got a brand new Zippo that looks exactly like this one. It says solid brass right um, let me try something out. It says solid brass right there. This kind of doesn't work because of the light. But, um, there we go. Solid brass. So I got this, and I've been looking at this Zippo for a while, and it's kind of before Christmas. I bought everything like retail price. I didn't go online to buy them. So it's kind of pricier. And I used to always carry this pouch right here. And I would put my Zippo in there. Right? And put that on my belt or just toss my purse, whatever, so it wouldn't get scratched. Well, these Zippo pouches use these button snaps right here that go over to the other side. Hold on one second. grab my little flashlight, so, out of my EDC organizer, which I will show you guys what I have in here in another video. Let's see if this works. Alright, as you can see, there's a button snap in there, and it's not protected by anything, so it put a round hole right here on my Zippo, and I was pissed, because... I paid I paid too much for this. These are about eight ninety five. I think I paid like twenty bucks for this. But you know what? Like I wanted it and it was there and I couldn't order something online, so I got it. And I loved it. But I paid so much for it and I know it didn't all go to Zippo, but I bought it to protect my Zippo. Not to leave a scratch in it. And like, yeah, I mean I should have known that it could, but I just didn't expect that from a product that I bought to protect it from the same company that made it. Like, it's a Zippo brand product. I wouldn't think that it would scratch my Zippo. But it did. So, I um, contacted Zippo. I sent them an email explaining what happened. I talked with someone named Susan Phelan, and she um, told me to send it in. So, I used a padded envelope like the one they sent it back in, and I sent it in. 
They Zippo sent me confirmation that they received it on October 18th. Yesterday I received it and it was December 29th or December 30th actually. I believe. It's winter break. It's Christmas break for me, so my dates are all screwed up. Yeah. December 30th. Um, let's see. What was the date that I contacted Susan again to talk to her, or just Zippo in general? Let's see. Alright, so, I had emailed him again, saying, hey, where's my Zippo? And I sent that November 28th. I did not get a reply. And so, um, hold on one second. Okay. And then I called, I don't remember what date I called. But I called and said, talked to somebody, I'm like, alright, this is ridiculous. I sent them in, I emailed her to ask her about it, and I didn't get anything back. And I want to know where my Zippos are. Because in the delivery confirmation, they say it should take four to five weeks, maybe extended during a holiday season. Uh, Non-Zippo products will be processed differently. But these are all Zippo products, so I didn't think of anything of it. Four to five weeks, fine. Well, I emailed her six weeks after um, I initially sent them in. Didn't get a response. Called her. She sent me an email back. And she said um, she had my lighters and clips. She had to send them to quality to look at. Well, that's fine. She had to send the these to quality so they could check them. But that's that's fine. Like I don't care. It's just that I would have liked to receive an email saying, "Hey, it's going to take a little bit longer because I have to send them to quality." Because then I would have been fine. But I'm thinking, did they lose them? Am I not getting it back? What's going on? Because this is kind of a, like, this is like close to $50 worth of stuff right here that I had sent in. And I didn't know if they had lost it, whatever. So, got it back. They have these stickers on the back, I guess, saying that they checked them. Um, they're the same pouches I originally got. Nothing changed on them. Uh, the zipper I got it was smudged when I got it, but I, um... I wiped it off. Was, okay. Um, I wiped it off. There was no sticker on the back here. Wait a second. Okay. All right. There was no sticker on the back. And I got it. Please excuse this. Is that a scratch? Is that a hair? Nope. That's a scratch. Awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there's some scratches on the back. Right there. Um. So, I don't know. There's, like, some scuff marks on the bottom of it, which is kind of expected. I don't know. I just, I don't really know what I was expecting. Maybe I was, she said she replaced it, but it was already opened, etc., I don't know if they checked it out to make sure this one was okay so they didn't hear me bitch at them anymore, but... Um, overall, I mean, I'm happy that I, I got them back. And I'm glad I sent it in because I was really mad. Uh, all I have, like... I'm not really mad about the service that I got. The only thing is, I just would have liked to receive a, an email saying they're going to quality. It's going to take a little bit longer. Or a response to my email saying, where are they? Um, I don't know. I've heard great things about Zippo's customer service, so I'm not really sure what the issue was with me, but I don't know. I'm sure I'll talk to them again with as many Zippos as I have. So, um, I don't really know how to end this, but this is what happened with me. If you have any stories that you want to tell, add a video response or add a comment. And that's about it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This is Roxy. Say rock on.